What's up fellow model builders, it's Brian of BG Model Workshop and we're doing a little update on the bench here. I know we did one yesterday that was kind of um, uh, to make up for one I intended to do last week but didn't get a chance to. So I wanted to share what we got going on uh, right now. So we're working with the uh, Chevy Blazer kit from MPC and it's a Snap It kit. And those Snap It kits, they always um, kind of talk about how they're fun and easy to put together. And that's a lie, but um, we're do we are having some fun with this kit. We're doing it as the rescue truck. So here's our buddy, and um, if you are a keen-eyed viewer, you'll notice that that doesn't just say rescue on there. That says surf rescue. I thought this would be a lot funner if we did a rescue vehicle that you would see probably you know at the beach in San Diego or someplace like that. Uh, like like almost like a lifeguard type vehicle. I didn't want to go Baywatch on it, but I wanted to um, wanted to kind of have some fun with this kit here. Um, now it does say that it's emergency equipped, um, and it wasn't because it was just basically a blazer kit with a light bar put on there and a different set of decals. And um, I got to tell you, watch out for the decals because they are very fragile. And they're not a lot of fun to deal with. Um, so if you are planning on doing this kit, if you got this kit for a youngling in the household, you are going to have to help them out a lot because this kit has a lot of flash. And um, we know how kids are with knives. That's not going to go very well. Uh, so it's a good thing the kit's rescue equipped, right? I'm just kidding. So uh, I actually got a new printer recently. And we went and did a test print. Uh, and created our own little surf rescue decals for the side here. We have them on both sides. And um, that's pretty much all I did. I did take the rescue decal that was supposed to go on there and added it to a duffel bag. Now, um, in other news, we are working on the Blue Bandito kit from Monogram. This dude here. And this kit comes with all kinds of fun accoutrement, such as... Um, diving equipment so I wasn't going to use that for this kit so I just had it in the uh, just sitting in a little dish on the side of the desk and I thought wouldn't it be fun if we actually did equip this emergency wise so I took the uh, decal that says rescue and I put that on the bag um, I'm a, a dive equipment or something like that I uh, painted up all the little bits and everything so back here we have the dive mask and the blurry little dive mask. And then the weight belt with the knife, some flippers. Uh, this is actually a parachute from a dragster kit that I didn't want to use. Um, I thought it might be kind of cool in there, so I painted it red, put a white cross on it. Uh, here we have our O2 tanks for the diver. And then on over here we have a little container of water or gasoline or, I don't know, vodka. Wait, no, this is a beach rescue vehicle, so probably tequila so it's probably got tequila in there and uh, you know just in case your party's dying and then up on the uh, the back wall there we have the uh, harpoon gun mounted on a little aluminum panel that we put on there so um, I thought that was a lot of fun uh, basically the uh, instrument panels I just colored those with black sharpie after I painted them red brown and uh, just to give it like a, a wood grain detail type of look for it. Um, also, what, what came in the uh, blue bandito kit was um, some wooden stake sides for the bed. And I, I pilfered those as well and painted those up. And what's going to happen with these guys is we are going to mount these to the back here like that. We'll pan up a little bit. So I have them on there like that because we're going to use some rescue surfboards up there. And I made these decals also. They turned out pretty good. So those are going to go up there. we got to fit them on because there's a light bar that goes up in the forward area here. So they're going to hang off the back a little bit. But that's okay because we have to put on the little... Um, the little uh, fins that go on there. Uh, these these are actually from the Tom Dam da excuse me Tom Daniel sur um, garbage truck kit. I, I created my own surfboards for that kit, but uh, I thought that these look a lot like the uh, rescue surfboards that the uh, lifeguards use. I, I googled what that looked like, and they're they're pretty close. The color might be a little bit brighter than what I have, but I don't mind. 
I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, so this was supposed to be a, a nice little build to get us back into the swing of things, get back, get the juices flowing and all that kind of stuff. And uh, uh, more than just juices were flowing, there was a lot of special words that were flowing. Uh, the antenna that comes with the kit was pretty, uh, well, it was just basically a chromed rod. So I got some wire and added on there. I still got to do a little bit of straightening on it. And I'll probably paint it to be a little bit more antenna color like. But uh, I added it to the uh, the base. It's a, got a big giant ball on the bottom of it with the little springy thing. Like we used to see back in the 70s. And the reason why I got this kit was because I did. I always liked the uh, the the seventy, was it the seventy three through seventy eight, uh, uh, bump out nose style. I don't remember what we call them, but uh, I always liked that style of uh, blazer and pickup truck. So I decided to go ahead and and uh, snag this. And then when I found out um, that the actual kit had a short shot. And we got a little bit of a, a seam line right here, but there was a short shot right here where you see this blank. The the two front pieces here didn't meet, and I'll see if I can't attach a couple of uh, of uh, picks to the end of the video here to show you what we were dealing with. So I was a little de uh, deterred by that, so I sat in my stash for about a year until I got brave enough to try attacking it again. But you can see what we did on the inside there. We stacked up. Wow, this does not want to focus at all. Stacked up a lot of styrene, uh, just little bits of junk to uh, help do some surgery on there. And that looks, uh, this cracked when I was doing some sanding, so I can I can fix that still. But um, I tell you what, guys, did such a good job on the nose of this thing. I th I'm still thinking about moving to Los Angeles and becoming a uh, plastic surgeon. So we got to let the decals finish drying and then I'm going to try clear coating the whole thing and then we're going to go on with doing some chrome work on there around the windows and such like that. So we still got a little bit of ways to go on that but for right now we're kind of uh, we're in a holding pattern so we're going to move on to something else. Alright so thanks for tuning in again. Uh, oh I also like to say that we did hit our 600 subscriber mark yesterday so thank you very much. We went to Facebook and pleaded with the masses and um, two cousins and uh, and a good friend both jumped in and helped us out. So we appreciate that greatly. So that means that we get to do a giveaway. So look forward to some information about that coming up soon. We're probably going to do that. Uh, we're going to start it this weekend and then actually have the drawing the weekend following. All right, all. Have a great rest of your day. We'll talk to you later. Bye.